Good afternoon for all. I am happy to join with you. Uh, I am presentation about the what to in Turkey. I have no conflict of interest and also I have permission to use about my pictures during presentation. As you know, uh, management of neuromuscular disease is a key team playing. A uh, multidisciplinary approach is the key element of the management of uh, neuromuscular disease. Uh, a lot of members uh, consist of this team. For example, pediatric pulmonologist, gastroenterologist, dietitian, a language therapist or swallowing therapist or orthopedist consist of team. For this reason, uh, we want to create a team in Turkey. Uh, at the beginning, five years before, there is no home ventilation program in Turkey, and there is no standard tracheostomic care guideline, uh, and there are few healthcare providers or doctors can be performed non-invasive ventilation, mechanic um, in exsufflator and high frequency chest wall oscillation device. And also families and caregivers have little information about tracheostomy care, uh, tracheostomy changing, NG to replacement, uh, airway clearing device, and ventilator uh, trouble shutting. Also, there are a few center can be performed on invasive ventilation, sleep study, uh, and swallowing evaluation, such as flexible endoscopic swallowing study or uh, video fluoroscopic uh, studies. Uh, for this reason, we collaborate with Turkish Pediatric Pulmonology Association, and uh, we prepared some pictures and videos for tracheostomy care. For example, uh, aspiration, tracheostomy changing, uh, skin care, accidental decanulation, etc. Uh, after that, uh, we prepared tracheostomy booklet for healthcare providers and caregivers using these pictures uh, and uh, videos. Also, uh, our patients can be reached freely in uh, this association website, uh, videos and booklets. After that, we uh, prepared some training slides or training uh, sets for tracheostomy care for a healthcare provider. Uh, two years ago, we held training program for tracheostomy care. In, uh, in the simulation room. This trained healthcare providers can make the hospital and their patients educated or train it by this, uh, sorry, I can see. <laughs> uh, these healthcare providers can make our, their hospital and they train it, their uh, families and caregivers for tracheostomy care and uh, changing. After that, we focused on ventilatory, ventilatory troubleshooting because there are a, a lot of problems, uh, patients uh, suffering problem, suffering ventilatory troubleshooting problems. And we will give, we will, to, we will planning uh, one years later for the uh, ventilatory troubleshooting uh, program for patients. Also, we organized uh, some session in, in the Turkish Thoracic Society and also Turkish Pediatric Pulmonology Association Congress for the neuromuscular disease uh, ventilatory support, uh, about the ventilatory support. Also, we prepared some book for healthcare provider for the non-invasive ventilation uh, and the neuromuscular disorders respiratory care. Uh, 
Uh, also, we collaborate the other uh, colleagues, for example, pediatric neurologists, and also we meet some uh, other families in the uh, online meeting. Uh, we need more uh, sleep laboratory uh, in Turkey because a, a few center can be performed sleep laboratory. Uh, and also this patient uh, have feeding problem, a lot of patients with feeding problem. For this reason, we collaborate the pediatric gastroenterologist and we prepare some videos for the feeding, for example, C-tube replacement, C-tube feeding for NG tube feeding and replacement. Uh, after the videos, our colleagues can give education for the C-tube replacement and feeding. Also, we need some uh, aerodigestive clinic for the technique uh, swallowing problem. Uh, we established aerodigestive clinic for the uh, detect swallowing problem. For example, in our center, these clinics consist of the pediatric uh, gastroenterology, pediatric pulmonologist, otorhinolaryngologist, swallowing therapist, and the dietitian. In these clinics, we can perform flexible endoscopic swallowing study and also video fluoroscopic study for the uh, detect swallowing problem in these patients. Okay. Uh, according to the patient needing, this swallowing therapist arrange patient swallowing uh, therapy. Uh, is the other problem? for the neuromuscular disease patient is airway clearance. Airway clearance is a very important issue in this patient. We can use manual chest physiotherapy and also mechanically next if patient need it. Uh, some of these patients also need high frequency chest wall oscillation, especially if the patient have persistent atelectasis despite the use of the other uh, airway clearance techniques. Uh, there are uh, there are a few doctors experience for the mechanical inexuflator or high frequency chest wall oscillation. For this reason, we organized some meeting uh, for meeting or workshop uh, high frequency chest wall oscillation or mechanical inexuflator usage. Uh, also. Uh, this training, for example, tracheostomy care or, or airway uh, clearance techniques, uh, we we organize some meeting in Turkish Thoracic Society Congress uh, in Turkey. Physical therapy is the main therapy of these patients. Oh, Our physical therapist team also uh, organized patients. Uh, physical therapy according to the patient needing. Uh, also, postoperative care very important issue in this patient uh, because anesthesia is a very uh, negative, effective uh, effect in this patient. Uh, we can perform G tube replacement endoscopically within in fifteen minutes. Uh, we we try to decrease the anesthesia negative effect. For this reason, we use non-invasive ventilation in the operation room, operation room uh, as soon as finished operation, you can see in this patient. And after uh, scoliosis operation, we can perform non-invasive ventilation effectively and non-invasive ventilation uh, also decrease the duration of uh, intensive care unit treatment in this patient and uh, also uh, intubation time. Uh, we increase the experience uh, about the non-invasive ventilation and also uh, use this device. Uh, we can success extubated or decanulated 
this patient. You can see some samples of the, these patients. Our centers is dedicated for uh, rehabilitation patient. For example, neuromuscular disease or ventilator dependent patient. Uh, this patient can our centers other uh, cities of the Turkey, and we give some training for tracheostomy care, non-invasive ventilation, uh, feeding G-tube or NG tube replacement uh, for this patient. Also, some of this patient uh, went to uh, some countries for the uh, gene therapies or genome therapy. Also, uh, we. Uh, we prepare this patient for the uh, flight or fit to fly. Uh, after that, this patient came uh, go go to our cities, but we follow up with telemedicine. Uh, this patient, for example, according to the blood uh, results or infection. We can arrange this medicine or device settings uh, with telemedicine. Uh, this is our Zolgesma treatment results. We have a lot of SMA patients. Uh, this is 39 patients, at least uh, longer than one year before uh, Zolgesma treatment. This patient took Zolgesma in 22 months. Actually, it is very late. Uh, most of these patients have feeding problem. Half of these patients have chest deformity, and 40,000, 400 of patients have scoliosis. Uh, most of these patients uh, took non invasive ventilation, and some of use invasive ventilation. Uh, also, more, uh, common of this patient feeding with uh, NG tube. Uh, after the Zolgesma treatment, uh, intensive care unit admission and also intensive care unit hospitalization duration was uh, decreased in this patient. Also, after one year of Zolgesma treatment, respiratory support uh, decreased in 40-100 patients. In Turkey, uh, as you can mention, Yasemin, Nursin Arsen is reimbursement by the Ministry of Health. But Solgesma is not licensed in Turkey. Ristiplam is licensed, but not implemented in Turkey. Also, we have newborn and screening program uh, in Turkey. What we need in Turkey, a mechanical inexplator uh, and a lot of physical therapy device, not reimbursement in Turkey. We need uh, also more doctors with experience with non-invasive ventilation. Also, we need more physiotherapists with experience with in neuromuscular disease. But uh, we need especially center specialists uh, in neuromuscular disease. Uh, in these uh, centers should be have pediatric pulmonologists, neurologists, gastroenterologists, and so a loving therapist uh, in Turkey. Uh, at the beginning of my speech, uh, I said this is a time, uh, this is a team playing game uh, of the management of non invasive men, uh, muscular disease. But the most important player of this team uh, actually is family. Family is very important. Uh, especially in Turkey, uh, family members playing like a maestro. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Thank you very much for your complex presentation and uh, for showing us your experience and uh, uh, sharing also your needs. Uh, we are talking about complex disease that for sure they need a multidisciplinary approach and all the speakers 
emphasize this. The problem is that in many countries, this is not still a reality. So we, we have to fight to have uh, access to integrated care and to multidisciplinary teams uh, uh, in approaching uh, our uh, complex cases. Uh, I'm uh, now opening the floor for uh, questions or remarks, comments. Are there any questions? I would like to know how are you funding your center? You you were explaining uh, about your center, but uh, uh, how is it funded? Uh, our center is private center, unfortunately. <laughs> yes, private center. But how do you find your funds? Yeah, you uh, are the patients paying for their. The patients pay. Patients pay for the device or uh, treatment fees. Mm -hmm. 